things I didn't know about being an influencer until I became one. I don't know if this is just a thing in Canada, but I don't make any money on TikTok through the creator fund. Like, TikTok doesn't pay me at all. All my income co goes through um, brand deals and partnerships. I know you can make pretty good money on TikTok, like a couple thousand dollars. I don't know, depending on your views. Um, but I know you make more with brand deals. And then this was my mistake. I feel like once you start blowing up and getting a platform, it's really important to sign with either like a manage manager or like an agent. Especially for me, I feel like because I started blowing up in my senior year of high school and I was still working at a restaurant, so I was so stressed. Like all the time, trying to balance my like school life, my work life, my social media life. And when I signed with my agents, I'm telling you guys, fucking game changer. So kind of like how it works, basically I had a bunch of people reaching out to me and then I kind of just did my research on each company and picked what was the best for me. And I'm telling y'all, as soon as I signed with them, like, felt like a burden of stress was just, like, lifted off my shoulders. Having a team that supports you is, like, literally the best thing ever, and it just feels so good. And they will always get you the best offer for any deal, like, ever. Like, I remember when I first started TikTok and I got my first email that was like, oh, like, what's your rate? I was like, what do you mean? Like, what do you mean what's my rate? And any offer that came my way just sounded so good because... Any amount of money was just so good for me. I was just a 17 year old. Well, I still am, but I literally remember like I would be up until 2 a.m. reading my fucking contracts where like it was 10 pages long. And I feel like a lot of people tend to like drop out of school after they start becoming super big on social media. Like, don't get me wrong, the money is good, but I feel like you always have to be three steps ahead. Like, social media is still such a newly developed concept. concept but it's not like a permanent forever like job like people forget that you can fall off anytime and it's scary but it's always good to have a backup plan so it's good to stay in school <laughs> this isn't by no means any shade to anyone that dropped out or like doesn't go to school also the most important thing to remember is there could be 10 million people who love you but there's always gonna be people who hate you and that's like totally normal like you can't have everyone that loves you all the time like people will always be like haters just my little tippy um anyways yeah that's it bye guys get ready with me whilst i tell you things i wish i knew sooner when starting social media i feel like when you first start blowing up you're just in such a shock of that that you don't really pay attention to the rest of the things you should be paying attention to. For example, I actually really, really, really recommend getting into management. I tell everyone that's like, I want to go to events, I want to do this, I want to do that. Without a management, genuinely, that is near enough impossible because they can get you things that is out of your reach or maybe out of your communication bubble and things like that. Or said, no, I got fake time on my hands. I definitely didn't realise how much, once you even gain a little bit of a following, people around you start to judge and have an opinion on you. I just think, like, when I first begun doing it, you start to really realise, number one, who your real friends are, but also, like, how fake people can be. For example, like, these people won't follow me, but at school, say we talk for a year, and then all of a sudden it's, like, a year later, and we're kind of talking in school, they'd be like, oh, well done for this deal that I did, like, a year ago, and I think. So you've been watching my stuff without following me, and you remember it all. Another thing with, like, people using me, I feel like it's really hard to make friends once you're on social media, and it's not talked about enough, because genuinely people are out to use you and to get your following, and just to not be in your life for a good reason and i feel like it's really hard to ju like, judge which one is which because you don't want to be standoff and not have any friends because you're scared but also you don't want to get walked all over um but to be honest my family are quite good at prejudging and saying she's a user she's not and even recently i've seen it myself my friends can use me not my friends but like people that i was friends with it is a huge responsibility and people really do underestimate the amount of hard work it actually takes to be able to use social media I feel like people just think, oh, all you have to do is film a video. But there is so much more behind the scenes that we have to do. Obviously, I'm not saying we're anything like doctors and nurses who are getting very, very underpaid 
um for their jobs and we're getting overpaid for ours but I just think people do underestimate like it is hard work everything anything to do with work can be hard work the rumors the rumors when I first started doing it and even now the rumors I get told about myself are crazy because I feel like when you're like known especially in my area I feel like people just make rumors out of everything because like they feel like they know you because they watch you and they know where you live, but, like, they actually don't know you at all. Seriously, some of the rumours I hear about myself, I'm like, damn, I never even knew I did that. Because I didn't. I've had so many influencers that I know that are just so disrespectful and rude to their followers. Like, just so, like, inconsiderate about their followers. And if I could say one thing, it's definitely keep your followers close because they are the ones that mean the most to you. And they will always love and support you. Get ready with me to go to a pumpkin patch. Okay, so basically, I've actually already been there once this year, but I'm going again because we didn't actually buy any pumpkins last time because it was, like, too early. I have, like, so much smudged mascara from yesterday under my eyes. Anyways, um, I'm just going with my mom and my sister and my grandma, I think, except we're leaving in, like, wait, hold on, I have to think. We're leaving at 11.15, and it's 11.08 right now, so I don't feel like doing the math. What the heck, my nail just like chipped and now the nail polish is like on my forehead. Okay, also, do some of you guys have like fall break? Like for me in Canada, it's like Thanksgiving weekend. So is that like the same thing as fall break in the States? Like I'm really confused. Okay, also my skin's been like all over the place. Like some days it'll be super clear and like other days it'll literally be breaking out so bad. Like my skin was completely clear like a couple days ago and now I'm like breaking out again. So I'm like so mad. I don't mind this like little potion I'm like brewing up my face. Um, Just trust the process. It'll like look good in the end. I'm so mad though because my tan from the summer is like already faded. Like I feel like the rest of my body is tanned except my face. Like it's so frustrating and I have to get new makeup and like everything like in different shades because I'm like turning back into my winter shade. Okay also I don't think I'm gonna do primer today because I feel like my skin is already like prepped enough from like all the skincare I just did. Also, I've had this concealer for, like, ever, and you can, like, see that it's, like, empty. So I have to, like, scrape around the edges and try to, like, get some product out. But, like, it's already so dried up, so I need a new concealer. And this concealer is way too dark for me, but it's the only one that actually, like, covers my acne. So I have to, like, mix it with the other concealer. It's just so annoying. Okay, for some reason, the Fit Me concealer, like, kind of burns, like, my under eyes, which is probably not good and it's probably expired because i've had it for so long but you know whatever okay today is just like one of those days where i just do not feel like wearing makeup so i'm not gonna wear a lot of makeup I just skip contour because i feel like sometimes contour like it looks so like muddy on my face maybe i just like don't blend it well but i don't know okay i said this in my last video but i'm gonna say it again my birthday is in a week i think exactly it's on the 15th Okay, my desk is so messy right now and it actually stresses me out so much. Like, I do not know where anything is. Oh, wait. Hold on. Um, anyways, I'm just gonna set my concealer with my e.l.f. powder. It's so cheap and it's actually a really good powder. Okay, now I'm just gonna do my eyelashes. I'm just gonna curl them. My eyelash color is so dirty and I feel like that's bad because it, like, rips my lashes out, but whatever. Okay, I just curled my lashes and now I'm just gonna do a bit of my essence lash primer okay while my lash primer is drying i'm just gonna do my eyebrows with the nyx brow glue this stuff is so good and it literally holds your brows like in place all day okay i'm also just gonna do some inner corner highlighter oh my god that was a lot okay for mascara i'm just gonna do my trusty sky high okay for my second mascara i'm just gonna do telescopic okay i just finished mascara and i'm just gonna take off the excess mascara that got all over my eyelids Okay, so it's currently 11.23, so I'm running a little bit late. Um, you know, whatever. It's fine. Okay, my makeup's basically done, I think. Guys, this glossy stuff tastes so good. Is that just me? Okay, I think my makeup's done. I feel like something's missing, but whatever. Okay, that's it. Bye, guys. Love you. Hey, guys. Get on ready with me. So, guys, I have millions and millions and millions and millions of exciting things coming. So number one, you're going to see me at an indie beauty event in London. Mm -hmm. The date is not confirmed yet, but it is sometime in October. Mm -hmm. So yeah, I would love to see if you're there. Second, add my new account. It's in my bio. I mean, my caption. I decided I want to do my account and I want to run off to my account. So that's what I'm doing now.
go add my second account. Third of all, I have been sent a serum by Pacifier. It's called the Baby Glow Serum Booster. Mm -hmm. So I'm going to be adding this to my skin routine in a minute. But let me tell you a story about how I nearly got eaten by a dog the other day. Yeah, I literally nearly got munched on by a dog. So I was minding my business, yeah. What was I doing? I was going out to post some parcels, yeah. And bearing in mind, this was at like night time. Because I don't even know. Don't ask me why. It was like dark outside. It wasn't even that like much of a night time. It was like 8 o'clock and it was dark, all right? So I was out looking like an absolute roadman on this electric scooter. Going to um, post off these parcels. And as soon as I leave my, my house or my gate, some freaking dog comes charging at me. Some massive bulldog looking thing comes charging at me and tries to eat my leg i had to jump on this freaking fence yeah i literally had to jump on this fence to get away from it i hopped on the scooter and the scooter literally we just got off together and then i ran my mom and i was like mom there's some vicious dog and he just tried to eat me and then like i didn't come back after like two hours because i was posting these parcels and don't even ask me about that that just took me way too long okay i was all out everywhere trying to post these freaking parcels but i did it in the end and by the way guys i'm not trying to say this dog was that like, aggressive or nothing i'm trying to say the owner needs to sort out the owner shouldn't have let the dog become like that why is the dog out on its own at night time anyway the hell anyways i love all dogs and i never believe that a dog is actually aggressive it's always the owner that does stuff to the dog that makes it like that so that's all i'm trying to say guys anyways yeah i never got eaten by a dog on the weekend so no, they end up with no foot. That would not have been good at all. Also, I'm going really, really spotty. Like, I have a spot on my nose there, yeah. And it's like one of them unpoppable ones, but I can see that it's forming into a poppable one. So, I'm going to literally pop it as soon as it's possible. Hopefully, tomorrow morning. Because I hate it and it really hurts. Like, even just touch my nose, it's painful. So, I'm going to use my new serum, which has sent me pacifier. So, thank you so much, Pacifier, for sending me this serum. We're going to try it out right now. If it would just bloody come out. There we go. looks like this and it smells friggin amazing i'm not gonna lie to you i smell it before and it smells beautiful i think this is the most best smelling skincare stuff i've ever smelled in my whole entire life and it's not even that it smells like like artificial or whatever it smells pure like it smells like pure fruit this could possibly be one of my favorite serums this might overtake my hyaluronic serum i'm not even gonna lie to you okay it has overtook it the way it just feels on my face also guys today i had an everything shower and i'm not gonna lie to you it was beautiful it was freaking amazing but my hair i didn't have any time to do my hair so i'm gonna get up early tomorrow and do it um make it all nice and curly you know what i'm saying oh my god because i've been sent some new clothes i need to make a video on it because i got sent them by a company so i'm gonna make a video on it after i do my skincare so i just can't get this all out of me oh. so yeah i'm gonna do the video in a minute show you all what i got sent and everything it's so exciting and i'm gonna be doing a giveaway on some of the clothes in there so that's exciting as well i'm also going to be doing like a little halloween special type thing and you're all literally gonna love it it's like do you know what? i'm not even giving too much information out yet but don't you guys worry you will find out about it it's going to be like a day or two before halloween it's gonna be like a little event thing and it's going to be amazing and you all just need to take a part in it because it's absolutely good so beautiful my face feels freaking beautiful i've had an everything shower i've done my whole skincare i've got a fresh set of lashes on i'm living the life and i have a matching set of pajamas on life could not get any better do you get me anyway i was gonna spray a bit of this because this is just so nice and refreshing and i'm done bye guys get ready for me to go to the amusement park with my boyfriend if you remember back in july i made one um to go with my brother but now i'm going with my boyfriend but we're still going with the same aunt so yeah i was showing my boyfriend videos of like my favorite rides um he's kind of scared but it's okay because they're not as scary in person well they kind of are but it's okay it's gonna be freezing out today so me and my boyfriend are matching black necky hoodies with gray sweatpants he's wearing his black crocs but i'm wearing my converse because i don't trust crocs on roller coasters i don't really want to do too much makeup today because my skin has been just going crazy i'm just doing some sunscreen it's not like me to be so mean you're all i want it 
Just let me hold you. I am so curious as how a nose contour is gonna go with my new piercing, but we'll see. Okay, I know I said not a lot of makeup, but I'm probably just gonna end up doing my normal now. I do that every time I say little makeup. But while this dries down a little bit, I'm gonna do the Frilliance blush and eyeliners. <laughs> I freaking love this NARS concealer like you have no idea. Just wish you could feel what you say. I am gonna do a little bit of the Rare Beauty highlighter just on my nose. I don't wanna be you. Have you guys ever been to Dorney Park? Because I literally love it so much. The rides are so good. I have so many mascaras, so it's always hard for me to choose which one I want to use. But today I'm gonna use the KVD full sleeve um mascara okay this mascara is eating up okay so not a huge fan on the wand of that mascara but the mascara itself is so good okay i just did powder um but now i'm just gonna do a little bit of blush and then highlighter red beauty shall we i saw katie fang put hers on with her finger instead of a brush so i'm copying lip combo to be honest this elf thing does not taste good at all but it looks good and then i just put this one on because it tastes really good setting spray okay here's the finished palette have a great day i love you guys so much bye